Welsh Government and the Health Board have been concerned about the drop in um, attendance for serious illnesses. We believe for some conditions it's as high as 50%, but I think overall it's about a 20% drop. Some people are worried about um, putting strain on the NHS at this difficult time. They want to see you. They don't want you to get ill and have a need for uh, much more drastic treatment later on. Um, and that's for COVID-19 and non-COVID-19 symptoms. Symptoms like breathing problems, bleeding, severe pain, chest pain, arm pain, stroke, blood in the urine, blood in the stool, change of bowel habit, all of those things that indicate there's something serious going on. Don't wait, don't wait. Uh, 111 and your GP if needed, if you if you can through to them. Um, uh, I would say if anybody's having difficulty with that, contact the Community Health Council and, and, and we can help. But the key thing is, if it's urgent, go and get, the, go and get that treatment. Uh, some people are worried about going because of the risk of an infection. Uh, I can assure them that ED departments are regularly cleaned and that, and, and that cleanliness and, and infection control is a key priority for the NHS. I think there's also a, a worry about mental health. We've spoken to Samaritans in North Wales. They're saying that, that their workload has gone through the roof. Um, I think that's going to be a, a real problem post COVID-19. And, and I think people need to do now the things that, that help them. So speak to friends. The worrying thing also is, is that we're seeing it in children as well. Um, they're isolated. They're, they're not socializing as they were. Plenty of children have worries over schoolwork. So I think this is going to be a big issue for the NHS post COVID-19.